So now you're at the Lakers, and you were there for two years. Mm -hmm. So I tear my knee the first year. The first year, they're going for a three-peat. And I tear my meniscus February, something like that. I'm out six to eight weeks. Um, you know, I was a, a key rotational player for that team. Get back right before the playoffs, and although I played, I just wasn't healthy. Uh, we get swept by the Mavericks, and then that's when I want to say they beat Miami in the finals, if I'm not mistaken, that year. Um, next year, so then at the end of that year is when um, Phil Jackson sits us in the room towards the end of the season and telling us this is his last year because he uh, has cancer. And, um, you know, for me being three years removed from losing my mom at that time, it was something that, you know, that, that, that hit a chord, obviously. And I think kind of it was crazy. You know, it was kind of the changing of the guards. Um, so to go from Phil Jackson and his historical run as a coach to Mike Brown, um, it was tough. It was night and day. And, you know, from the jump, Mike didn't really have players' respect, and it was just, it was a mess that season. Well, you started your relationship with Gloria back during, like, the, the Phoenix Suns? No, the, the Warriors the first the time. The Warriors, yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. But then, when you were playing with the Lakers, it seemed like the relationship started to get rocky. Yeah, so that was a year or two in the basketball-wise. Um, you know, not to place any blame on anybody, but... I was kind of being a young athlete, and she was just kind of becoming known in the in, in the entertainment space, you know. So she was kind of feeling herself. So that kind of came to a head uh, in 2010, my first year with the Lakers, and we split for like 10 months, I want to say. Okay. But were you married that by time. that time? No. Uh -uh. Okay. So we split for about 10 months, um, got back together. Uh, you know, to me, it was having a fucked up childhood. I just didn't want my kids to get off to the same start um, that I did, you know? So I tried everything in my power to make that work. And I just think we found each other at the wrong time. You know what I mean? I was just kind of becoming, developing my own name in the NBA. So I was doing what I did. She was younger, had two kids. We jump on this reality show and then now she's kind of coming into her own as well. And I just think the time that we were in love we're at different times. Well, you said that doing Basketball Wives was the biggest mistake you've ever made. Uh, I just think, and I don't even blame the show for us breaking up by any means. I just, I think once you open up that book to allow people to look at your private life, you can't get mad when people comment on it. You know what I mean? And that yeah. was that was my hardest thing was these people are like, you know, at, at the time talking about my the mother of my children and some people even crazy enough to talk about my kids. So it took me a while to <clears throat> understand that we allowed this. We gave them access to our yeah. life, so I can't cuss everyone out in the world that has something to say that I don't like about my family. Yeah, I've always turned down reality shows. I've always kept my private life completely private. Right. I even stay off camera, just yeah. for all the things that you're talking about, right. to try to avoid all that. Yeah. Like, I'm cool with the money, but I don't right. need all the extra. Yeah, no, the, the, <laughs> the, the, the that kind of fame is overrated, you know what I mean? But, you know, like I said, I don't blame the situation. It, it probably didn't help, but it also opened my eyes to behind the camera and, and the TV side and, and realizing, you know, that's what I'm doing in the space now is, you know, realizing that it's not too, it's not tough to create shows, but quality shows. You know yeah. what I mean? I think there was a whole deception of how this show was supposed to be and the franchise, I guess, has made money and been successful, but it's just a horrible depiction of, I think, what they're trying to perpetuate to begin with. Yeah, I mean, because it was kind of an offshoot of Love and Hip Hop. Before, right? yeah. Before, love and Hip Hop yeah. was first, right. and then this was kind of the sports. No, I, was, was Love and Hip Hop first? No, I think, I think, I think so. Love and Hip Hop came after. Oh, no. I think basketball, -wise, I think it was like Flavor Flav, and then like basketball wise was like right up there. What was it? Love and Hip Hop season one was 2011. Yeah, so basketball wise was 2000. Nine. Not. Oh, okay. You're right. I think Love and Hip Hop came after. Oh, so okay. this is kind of. Oh, kinda, so Love and Hip Hop was the hip hop version of Basketball Wives. It started. Wise. Yeah, okay. it started this whole uh, reality TV fiasco. You know, hmm. and, and to think that w w crazy part is, I remember <clears throat> when I knew because I, 
like I said, Shaq kind of reeled me in and I agreed to do a show or two. And I remember one of the first shows was, we were in Orlando at the time, and this is when all the Tiger Woods shit was happening. Like, mm. Tiger was at our games, courtside, cool, talking to everyone, then all of a sudden the bombshell hits where he's got 20 bitches all over the world and all this <laughs> kind of stuff is going on. So and the we're, most horrible looking women right, also. So, it was such a disappointment. So, like, yo, this right. is all you could get, Tiger? Like, <laughs> So, uh, you know, we're in the midst of that. So I remember we had the whole cast over to our house in Orlando, and the way they kind of plant shit in each person, like... They were trying to t tell one girl to ask me something and something. So basically, it just came down to like everyone looking at me, like, well, "What do you guys do on the road? Or uh, what do your teammates do on the road?" And you know, I, I've seen you talk to Tiger and all this kind of shit. And I was like, "Hold on!" I like I called timeout right away. I was like, "Yeah, I'm not doing this shit. Like, yeah. I'm the only current player um, in a relationship because Shaq and Shawnee. I don't know if they were still together or not at that time." You know, one of the only people, Shaq and I, in the league that's kind of representing basketball-wise, I'm just like, you think I'm a fucking snitch on any, you know what I mean? I'm just not. So it was something I saw early on, just how scripted everything was and how yeah. drama-filled they wanted everything to be. And they never wanted to see, like, me, Gloria, and the twins happy. They wanted to see, like, me and Gloria fighting and Gloria fighting with the other girls. And it was just early on, I was just like, yeah, I'm not with this shit. So... I tried to pull her, but she was on a contract, and they threatened to sue her and do all this kind of shit, so she had to stick in there, but it was a mess from the beginning. <laughs>